Okay, so good day citizens. So welcome to our webinar series entitled Enhancing the Trip brought to us by the FFTS Federation of Food Technology Students, the official organization of the Foods Department from the College of Industrial Technology in partnership with the CIT Extension Services Unit. Again, welcome everyone. I am Ms. Fides Calma, your host for today's webinar. Before we start, may I remind everyone to please register and answer the attendance form pinned on the comment section. So, okay, so it is best to start our event with the guidance of our Lord Almighty. Let us all bow our head and listen to the doxology via audiovisual presentation, immediately followed by the singing of the Philippine National Anthem and Bulsu Hymn by the Bulsi Saring Hymn.
Again, uh, please do not forget to answer the attendance form. After the presentation of our speaker, we will have a raffle after. So please uh, fill up the attendance form again that is pinned on the comment section. So to continue, to give us his opening remarks and officially welcome everyone, let us hear from the head of CIT organization, the very energetic and hardworking Mr. Dexter Faustino. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Can you hear me? Naririn niyo po ba ko, everyone? Okay, good. Uh, yes, sir, loud and clear. Good afternoon. Okay, uh, can you hear me, everyone? Yeah. Yes, sir, sir Dexter, po? loud and clear po. Hello. We can hear you po, sir Dexter, loud and clear. Okay, thank you, ma'am. So anyway, uh, good afternoon to everyone. So um, I think we, before we begin this uh, webinar, uh, I would like to express uh, my heartfelt gratitude to all the faculty involved, the student leaders, of uh, the Food Technology Department uh, who has been uh, sincerely committed to this event. Um, to Sergei Desus, uh, the department head of the Food Tech uh, Department, uh, to Ma'am Fides, uh, who she's the moderator now, 
I think she's also advisor for the IS. She's also the you know, the coordinator for our extension services and of uh, the CIT. So, daming trabaho ni Ma'am Fides. Mabibigyan ng jacket yan. And uh, to Ma'am uh, Melanie Caballero, Caballero has been the alumni coordinator for CIT. And of course, um, to Ma'am Riz, the I love Ma'am Riz, ang kras ng bayan. Uh, she will be your speaker. And of course, she's also the advisor of the FFTS. And of course, those who are now attending uh, this webinar uh, entitled uh, Empower Your Online Internship. Uh, my dear students, uh, with Ma'am Riz as your speaker, I assure you that by the end of this webinar, uh, you will be equipped with the knowledge on how to go by with your internship. Okay? So, um, um, virtual internship is basically a uh, regular internship, but uh, this is in the comfort of your home. So, bahay lang. So, um, alam naman natin, since uh, we are still experiencing the effect of uh, the pandemic, um, we are now getting used uh, to the virtual communication. Everything is through the internet. Uh, our life is somehow dependent on uh, virtual engagement, so to speak, at least for now. Um, but um, in spite of all those things, uh, you must learn to adapt. Uh, that's the word, adapt. Um, sabi nga ng tatay ko, uh, the greatest form of survival is uh, to learn how to adapt. And uh, I believe him. Okay? So, um, we must all adapt. Okay? We shall adapt. So, we will learn how to manage uh, difficulties on uh, not having the usual face-to-face -face like we used to. And uh, I'm pretty sure with Ma'am Rees, uh, uh, she can give you all the information on how to adapt uh in this uh, virtual internship that you're about to face okay so hindi ko na po paabayan uh, so with that i wish you good luck and um let us all adapt thank you very much thank you uh sir dexter faustino for that very warm welcome. Um, thank you for sharing with, with us your valuable time. So to formally introduce our distinguished speaker, may we call our equally hardworking and dedicated alumni coordinator, Ms. Melanie Caballero. Good afternoon. So good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon, everyone, to our Dean, Dr. Warlito Galita, Ma'am Jack Villanueva, our college secretary, student organization, Sir J. De Jesus, our area chairman in foods, Ma'am Fides Calma, our moderator for today, and my co-faculty here in CIT, most specially in foods department. And of course, to our beloved students, it is my pleasure to introduce to you our resource person for today's webinar. Her educational background was she studied at Bulacan State University with the course of Bachelor of Science in Industrial Education, major in foods. If she finished her master's degree at Eulogio Amang Rodriguez Institute of Science and Technology, major in foods. And currently, she is pursuing her doctoral degree at the Holy Angels University in Pampanga. She was a faculty before in Lord's Angel Academy from June 2001 to 2003. A very talented faculty of Bulacan State University under the College of Industrial Technology, Foods Department, and she usually handled personality development class. And she is the pioneer advisor of the student organization FFES up to this day. 
are your dear students and fellow fa faculty, please welcome our resource person for today's webinar entitled Projecting Image in Virtual Internship, our very own Ms. Mrs. Cresandra E. Mendoza. Hello, thank you. Thank you, Ma'am Melanie. Um, hindi ko po binayaran si Ma'am Melanie uh, with uh, my introduction, but she's my friend. <laughs> Ayoko pong ibigay sa kanya yung resume ko, sabi ko hulaan na lang niya. Because we've known each other since college. So, college pa lang magkakaklase na kami and magkakabarkada kami. Okay, so again, good afternoon. Well, I'm not used to it. Alam niyo naman, uh, mas, mas um, okay ako na nag mc or nagtuturo, though I volunteered actually. <laughs> I, I want to thank myself for volunteering on this webinar. Um, just to share, um, sa, minsan kasi no, we have this um, thoughts in our minds na gusto nating i-share, but we don't, know, we don't have the proper venue. So I think this is the proper venue uh, for me to share my thoughts and my, some ideas regarding um, today's topic. So please allow me to share my screen. Okay, hello. So, am I audible? Okay naman po by sounds ko as well as my my presentation? Yes, ma'am. Clear po. Okay po, ma'am Fides. Okay, so just, you may interrupt me po pagka meron problema when it regards to my audio and also with my presentation. Okay, so again, good afternoon. But by the way, I want to thank um, Sir Dexter Faustino. Thank you, sir. Nakaka-pressure naman yung, yung opening remarks. And again, Ma Melanie Caballero. And of course, later on, we will hear from Sir Jay De Jesus. Okay? So again, um, a pleasant afternoon to all of you. And I hope lahat nakapag-lunch na. Kasi although it's 2 o'clock already, I think nakapag-lunch na. Um, today, I was um, tasked to make a short talk. I, I hope short but memorable, no? About projecting a positive image in a virtual internship. Actually, I've been thinking for this topic for a long weeks na. Ma'am Fides know about that and also the officers of FFTS. I have um, many revisions, no? And ang dami kong revision. Kasi I've, I've um, attended uh, various webinars. Pero pag ikaw pala yung, um, ikaw yung mismong speaker, ang dami-daming gusto mong sabihin na gusto mong i-share sa kanila. But you are, um, nakalimit ka lang with a given time. Okay. So again, so this is a very timely, you know, your virtual internship since most of our participants are on their virtual internship. Though, no, medzo, this topic came late because we're almost done. You're almost done with your module sa OJT, if I am right. Okay. But still, I hope, you no, know, after discussing this topic, may apply nyo sana, unti-unti, you no, know, yung ma share ko sa inyo ngayong webinar natin. Okay, so let me begin with this one. Okay, so the first one is self-image. Okay, so when we say um, self-image, so are we really aware of this term? Familiar ba kayo? I am, I am here, uh, I, nandi dito ako sa, I mean, I'm projecting here, but then I am also um, looking at the, the FB Live, if you want to, pwede nyo na akong tanongin, or if you want to answer, it's okay with me, no? So, nababasa ko. Okay, so again, let me go back. So, are we really aware of this term, self-image? No? So, sometimes, so, tatanungin ko, students ko, like, um, do you know what is self-image? Well, maybe their answer might be, uh, ma, maganda ako, um, guapo ako, sexy ako, masayahin akong tao. Okay? So, but, um, however, are we considering our self-image a positive image? So, sometimes kasi, di ba? Yan, so positive image. So, kasi self-image is different, no? Pag, kumbaga, para lang yung, um, yung inyong um, gadget. 
minsan ina-upgrade niya, di ba? Kailangan naka-upgrade. Also, our image. Hindi lang basta yung image mo. It, it must be positive. No? Um, sometimes kasi, if, if we look at the mirror, ang gusto lang natin makita kung ano yung maganda sa atin. No? Gusto natin kung ano lang yung positive. Pero hindi pwedeng ganun eh. Kaya nga mirror eh. That is a reflection of yourself. Okay? And then, um, however, yun nga, the self-image is considered as positive image. Um, that is what we are going to discuss on today's webinar. Okay? So, papauna ko na po, I am not a registered psychologist nor um, a beauty consultant. Frustrated po. Pwede pa. I'm a frustrated um, beauty queen. Kaya lang hindi ako nabiyayaan ng hype. Nung bata lang naman, that is my, um, yun yung isa sa frustration ko nung bata ako. Okay? And with that, no, so, so I get, I, again, um, pinapauna ko na po yun. But um, most of my, uh, the content of my my um, slides, my presentation is based on some of my research and um, experiences, no? Iba din, experiences ko um, for teaching, ayan, for teaching nine, nine years now. So let me start. So a self-image actually is defined in three different ways. The first one, it is an internalized mental picture or idea of what you have for yourself. Okay, we will discuss that one by one. Okay, next, it's how you think and feel about yourself based on your appearance, your performance, and relationships. And the third one is, it is the level of happiness and fulfillment. So, himay-himayin natin yan. The first one, internal mental picture means it is an image of yourself that help determine how we act, react to daily highs and lows of life. As I've said a while ago, when we look at the mirror, what you see depends on the quality of that mirror. Pag bumili ka ng mirror sa SM, yung mamahalin, iniisip, ah, maganda ako dito. Pero pag bumili ka lang dyan sa, what, sa bangketa, sa palengke, parang feeling mo, iba yung nakikita mo. It is just like our mental image of ourselves that help, ayan, help us to react on our daily lives, no on our daily highs and lows, if we think of ourselves worthwhile and valued by others. Kapag sa palagay natin, the people appreciate us, it come across to other people. No? So kung ano yung nakikita nila sa atin, iyon din yung nararamdaman nila tungkol sa atin. If we are happy, nakikita nila sa mukha natin that we are happy. The, 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 and the contrary, pagka naman malungkot tayo, nararamdaman din nila na malungkot tayo. Okay? Okay, the next Okay, and then with that, did you know that a recent poll conducted by the American Psychological Association actually is, um, look at this one, 60% of oh, the stress, um, the extremely, the Americans are stressed out because of finances and work. So, um, yeah, we understand that, no? Because financial and some work-related problems affect, that, that is, um, those are examples of stressors. But surprisingly, that 40%, that stressor comes from negative impact on their self-image. Though sad, but in reality, ang liit na factor, but then, yung negative na impact natin sa self-image natin, that adds um, that we consider that stressor, di ba? Kasi, um, I don't know, marami tayong nababalita, ano, di ba? I know, so, ma mahilig kayo sa K-pop. Ang daming, correct me if I'm wrong, ang daming mga nagsusuicide na, na mga K-pop. And, I, I, um, na, mga hearsay lang naman, no? Na sabi nila, it's maybe, they are frustrated. Sometimes, ang, no ba to, ang ganda na nila, ang gagwapo na, na nila. What's wrong with them? Diba? So, part of it is their self, they have a negative impact pa din on their self-image. Okay? And then, that, that thing, yun yung gusto kong ma-develop sana sa atin, ano? kahit konti, kahit pa paano sana makatulong ako. 
So sabi nga, nakakalungkot, but that, that is the reality. And not only the Koreans or the Americans, but also us, maybe tayo ding mga Pinoy, we also suffer for, um, from this, no? from this stressor. Okay. So sabi ko nga, just imagine, yung ibang tao na mumroblema doon sa kakainin nila, pagkain nila sa araw-araw, while there's still, there's still this 40% na iniisip lang kung ano yung gagawin nilang profile picture sa Facebook, sa Instagram, sa, pa, sa other social media accounts nila. Just imagine that. Masyadong extreme, di ba, yung interest ng tao. Okay. Well, well kidding aside, the, the, the second one naman is, it's how you think. Another definition of self-image is how you think and feel about yourself based on your performance, your appearance, and also your relationships. Okay? So this actually, we will emphasize more on this, no? Your performance as well as the relationship. So hindi na tayo masyado, though matatakal din, pero I, I will focus more on the appearance. So, so since we... Um, the aim of this webinar is to improve no your 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 aura your your positive image in um during your virtual internship okay so next okay okay the first one so let's be your personal like the, the appearance by the way the first one it it deals with the hairstyle and um facial features this one plays a big role but take note of this aren't the main ones so it doesn't matter kung kung lumabas na lahat ng puti ninyong buhok sa ulo sa yung buhok ninyo um hindi na medyo yung hair ninyo magkakaiba na na yung kulay hindi na nakakapagpapagupit it doesn't matter no kasi sabi nga this is not the main ones okay? so next the physical characteristics are what you see in the naked eye if my memory serves me right, sabi ni Rufa Gutierrez doon sa Miss World, sabi niya, um, it is only with the heart you can see rightly what is essential is invisible to the eye. Diba? So iba-iba tayo ng interpretation eh. When we say physical characteristics, you can describe it easily. Ang dali-daling sabihin, paano mo siyang ma-describe ang isang tao? Sabi ko nga kanina, maganda ba? What? Sexy? And so on, no? So next... Okay, next one. It encompasses anything you can describe about a person or group of people just on sight. So physical appearance, actually, it, it summarizes all. Lahat na nagde-describe sa person or group of person na nakikita natin. And actually, I have this, may nabasa ako, it's an, uh, an article. Um, sabi nga nung, nung, or, nung, nung author, if you saw someone, if you want to to describe the person physically, merong mga words na pwede na tayong, or terms na pwede natin sabihin na hindi nakaka-offend. Like what? How will you describe um, a person who is ugly? Sige nga, mag-chat kayo. Paano yung sasabihin na um, ugly yung isang tao? O sige, ugly, pangit, hindi maganda. Okay? Why not, instead, instead of saying that, Pwedeng sabihin niya na, uh, uh, na she is not that beautiful or he is not handsome. What's, why, why not say it? He's not very attractive. Or, he's not so good looking. Diba? Hindi masyadong masakit. No? Kasi, iisipin muna natin, no, before tayo mag, mag-describe ng isang tao, lalo na nung may face-to-face -face tayo, there are some instance na tinatanong kay mga estudyante, sino yung teacher niyo dito? Ma'am yung matanda. Diba? Ma'am yung mataba. Diba? So why not think of um, different adjective naman para hindi sabi ko nga, hindi nakaka-offend. Okay? Okay, next. Why not instead of, how about if you say a person na mataba? Anong sasabihin niyo? Laki ng katawan. Diba? Why not instead of saying that, um, na he is fat. Say it, he is chubby. Mas cute, di ba? What about sa pag sinabing, ang laki ng tiyan niya? Why not say it, he has a flubby tummy. Di ba? Medyo cute. Magandang pakinggan. At again, hindi masakit sa tainga. Di ba? So, so those are um, just um, 
in enumerate ko lang ano the, the different appearance na included no and then the next one how about the last definition of self image the level of happiness and fulfillment actually diba sa kay maslow if you're familiar with abraham maslow his um um yung um, hierarchy of needs according to abraham maslow the, the highest one the pinaka nasa top is the happiness and fulfillment no it doesn't matter if you have all the material things but pag incomplete ka pa din if you are not happy and fulfilled okay so according to ayunadeji ono balusi he cited the five ways to bring happiness and fulfillment into our lives Okay, the first one, stop taking yourself too seriously. Well, once in a while, tumawa, pero wag naman yung walang dahilan. Baka nakala nasisiraan ka na. Another one, um, yeah, like, like for example, we we often criticize ourselves, di ba? Na-experience nyo yan, na lagi mo, ginawa mo isang bagay, at the end of the day, iniisip mo pa din, mali yung ginawa ko. Sana ito yung ginawa ko. It's normal. No? We are all humans. And that means we will make a couple of mistakes every now and then. Okay? So that doesn't mean that you should spend time wishing na sana I done this differently. Rather, look at the fun side of it. Okay? And make fun of yourself. Okay? And then not taking yourself too seriously can help you fight stress and keep you on a lighter mood. Okay, next is only spend time with people that make you happy. Sorry, yeah, that make you happy. Sabi niya siguro, tama mam. You choose, choose mo yung people that makes you happy. Okay, so the people we surround ourselves can impact our mood significantly. Okay? So this means you had to cut off communication dun sa mga tao na, you know, na hindi ka nila i-reject. Ayaw mo dun sa mga tao na puro negativity yung nasa isip. Okay? So it is true, no, that you can't make everybody happy. Hindi talaga. But what is important, you spend time with positive-minded people, no, para mag-fulfill mo, makuha mo yung happiness in life. Okay, the third one is keep your focus. Keep focus on your life goals. Okay. Sometimes we are get disappointed pag hindi natin nakuha yung goal natin. Okay? So para makuha yan, let us um avoid this um distractions para ma-achieve natin. And then we may realize that you can achieve your goals and make whatever dreams you set your mind on become reality will help you then and then you stay fulfilled. Okay? And then the fourth one is remind yourself of things that make you happy. Okay, sige nga, what makes you happy nowadays? Ngayong pandemic? Gising pa ba kayo? I'm looking at the chat box. What makes you happy? What? Pag po nakatapos ng isang requirements, pag po nakatapos ng isang project, well, definitely, pag natapos po ako sa old JT at nakagraduate. Safety of my family. One answer is from Gwen, um, according to her, safety po ng, safety ng family. That is very good. So, always remind yourself, wag ka nang mag-isip ng mga bagay na mas makapagpapasaya sa'yo. Sometimes, nanza zaan na yun. Nasa harap mo na. Okay? And then the next one is seek happiness of others. Okay? You seek happiness of others. Um, most of the time, we are just focused on our own happiness. Why not once in a while, what, tumulong ka? Ngayon mahirap tumulong kasi hindi ka pwedeng lumabas. Why not a simple message to cheer up your classmate, your friend, para maging happy siya. Check mo, that will also add happiness sa sarili mo. Tinulungan mo yung kaibigan mo na nag-online selling, unconsciously, 
akala mo na isahan ka niya, pero hindi mo alam kung gaano happiness yung na-add nun sa sarili na niya. Okay, so little things, pero I, I know it counts a lot. Okay, and then next. So we are done describing or discussing about self-image and the positive self-image. So now we will go to the context. Sabihin nyo, hala ngayon pa lang pala kami magsastart. Yes. So ngayon pa lang tayo magsisimula. Introduction pa lang yun. So wag nyo akong tutulugan. No, I know I'm, I am very fortunate, no, this this time of, ano, yung ating online setup. I've experienced, I've almost experienced um, lahat ng phases ng online teaching. Siyempre, I'm a teacher. Yung iba, baka naging studyante ko yung iba sa inyo. Diba? Um, alam ko yung feeling na tinutulugan ako ng studyante ko and the other way around is um, I'm also a student every Saturday at alam ko din at na-experience ko din kung paano pa minsan-minsan antukin sa klase. And alam ko din how my two sons na nagbe-behave during their online class. So, don't you worry. I understand. Uh, we will we will um, discuss that one by one, no? So, for now, I want you to take a selfie of yourself. Ready na ba? Ready na ba yung, yung camera ninyo? So, take a selfie of yourself. Okay? So, uh, I'll need to, um, I'll count. One, two, three, four, five. Okay? Done? Okay, so I hope, no, sumunod kayo. You know what, the reason why I ask you to do that is this one. I want you to recall, today is June 17, 2021. Kung marirecall ninyo nung June um, 17, 2019 or June 17, 2020. Kung may chance kayo to compare those pictures, alin kaya ang mas okay? na picture mo. Yung ngayon o nung 2019 or nung 2020? What do you think? Is there um, any answer? Ano kaya? A good afternoon sa lahat. Okay. So, if you're ganito na lang, no? If your answer is, kung ngayon, ma'am, ngayon po, mas okay po itsura ko, mas fresh po yung itsura ko. That means you are adjusted on this current on our current situation. But then, if ang answer me is, uh, "Mam, mas okay ako nun, stress free, mas fresh ako nun kumpara ngayon." Okay. Um, ibig sabihen, there's something hindi naman mali, but you need to adjust little by little, no? So, paunti unte. You try, you try to wag man tanggapin yung pangyayari natin ngayon. You, little by little, you, you try, you embrace it. And then you look for the positive things na nangyayari without the current situation. Okay, sabi nga, be careful of what you wished for. Before I know we've wished na sana po holiday para walang pasok, may pahinga. Kami din as faculty, we also wish for that. Sana may holiday tayo para we can spend a lot of time with our family, with our sa anak, sa asawa. Pero ngayon, binigyan tayo ni Lord ng mahabang panahon and yet nagre-reklamo pa din tayo. Okay, try to reflect on that. Okay? Next, so the reason why, no, the reason why I, again, kung bakit ko pinagawa sa inyo yung selfie is that, um, I know you love doing selfies. I, I know, gustong-gusto nyo yan eh. It's my day, my day, every single day, every hour, papalit for my day, di ba? Pero, bakit ayaw yung magpakita sa camera during our class? Ha? It's, it's nakaka-puzzle yan sa amin, no? Ayaw yung magpakita, no? pero sa social media, nagkalat yung face ninyo, nagtatampo kami, pero pag the worst scenario is, pag nagpapapicture kami sa inyo, di ba, at the last, last part ng klase, oh, I know, pare-pareho kami ng mga co-teachers ko. Okay, please open your your cell phone so we can take a um, picture. The worst scenario is yung iba, meron pa nakahubad. Correct me if I'm wrong. Pero meron ha, may nakahubad, merong hindi nagsuklay, mayroong, um, what, merong nakasando. Iba-iba. Pero, meron naman ako nakikitang 
mas maayos pa yung itsura sa akin. Okay, I know you have so much reason. You have different reasons. And we respect you with that. Pero this webinar, no, I want you to think um, na baka naman pwede. Baka pwede niyong gawain sa mga susunod pa ninyong mga virtual classes. Okay? So, and these are the, some of the five reasons why student benefit from cameras off. Ito yung mga reasons kung bakit um, you choose to um, turn off your cameras during the virtual um, class or virtual internship. The first one is competing obligations. Kasi naman po, ma'am, may klase po ako, ay pakakainin ko pa yung bata, yung kapatid ko, or yung anak ko mismo, ay magsasampay pa po, maglalaba, magluluto. Okay? So your class is, wala naman siguro nagkaklase sa inyo na four hours. Meron ba? Meron bang kayang teacher na four hours, five hours, nagtotok si teacher, si ma'am? I'm not sure, ha? So, actually, dapat may limit din naman, no? So, you use yung time nyo, you spend sana naman, you give your time, yung one hour, two hours, bigay nyo na sa amin yun. To your your boss, pag sa interns, bigay nyo na yung oras na yun. Kasi after that one hour or two hours, tapos na yan eh. You can do eh, anything, lahat gawin mo na. Okay? And then the next one is Zoom fatigue or what we call what? um Google Meet fatigue, Microsoft Teams fatigue. Actually, according to the expert, this is no, not different, no, with the regular fatigue that we are experiencing during our face-to-face -face platform, no? So when we see um, this one, this fatigue, actually, we have different um, different um, reasons of this fatigue. And this constant video engagement may, uh, may exacerbate the problems. So one problem is, of course, we miss out on a lot of non-verbal communications. Diba? Lalo na tayong madadaldal. Gusto natin nung may face-to-face, -face, naku, grabe ang ingay ng klase namin. Nagdi-discuss ka na, sinasabayan ka pang mag-discuss. Ngayon naman, parang wala kaming kausap. Okay? So, um, how are we going to cope up with this fatigue? No, limit your, your Zoom meeting or your, your online meeting. Pwede din naman na mag-shift ka onto phone. What else? Pwedeng phone naman. Pwedeng through, through email naman yung iba. Through chat naman yung iba. Kasi nakaka-stress din naman talaga yung maghapon kang nakaharap sa laptop mo or sa iba-iba mong gadgets. Okay? And then the third one is increased anxiety and stress. So, Actually, online students are often expected by their teachers to look at the screen for the entire class. Diba sabi ni mom? Okay, tingin lang sa screen. Ha? Walang matutulog. Pero ang gagawin, pipicturean lang. Tapos pipikit na. Okay? So, this can result of the feeling. Uh, actually, it's um, yung anxiety and stress in the form of the prolonged eye contact, masakit sa mata, na sometimes you feel distracted. Okay? So, especially if, if you, you know, ipag nagre-report kayo, sometimes it creates anxiety kasi iniisip mo, I'm only the one who's talking, tapos lahat sila nakafocus sa akin. So, sometimes nasa-stress tayo doon. Okay? And then next is, a right to privacy. Now, at school, students are not required to disclose details about their personal lives. So, nung nasa face-to-face -face tayo, well, hindi naman namin kayo tinatanong, okay, o oh, ikaw, anong itsura ng bahay mo? Malaki ba ang bahay ninyo? Sino ang kapit-bahay mo? Anong itsura ng kwarto mo? But this one is another reason for the students because feeling nila they don't have privacy, most especially if they will open their cameras, makikita yung unan, yung kumot, yung mga sampay. Eh, doon napapasok yung virtual background. You may, you may use that. Ako, personally, gumagamit ako nun. Diba? Para um, yung sinasabi mo na privacy is hindi natin ma-violate, no? Okay. And the last one is financial means and other kinds of access. Well, um, requiring students to use video during class, make assumptions about the ability or, or um, the students of their families to pay for their requisite technology. Well, syempre, let's face it, additional burden sa magulang sa atin. Kaya nga, um, and not only that, no, even yung bandwidth, no, 
if um I have also students that they are complaining for a low bandwidth, that's the reason why they turn off their cameras. In that case, yes, it's accepted. Okay lang naman yun. Pero huwag naman sana lagi, okay? Next, let us move on now with this one. So we're done with this. These are some of the reasons, no, why you turn off your cameras. Bato-bato sa langit, no? I don't know kung sino dito ang tatamaan ng mga reasons na yan. Although, hindi lang naman kayo, even us, your teachers, we are also guilty of that, no? Um, kaya nga sabi ko, hindi lang naman sa students, also with my co-faculty, dapat um, um, we also share um, precious time also, spending sa online class. Kasi if we want, if we want our students to project that presentable na itsura, dapat tayo ding it's, um, faculty, tayo ding teacher nila. Sa atin muna dapat manggagaling yun. No? So, wala, I did, walang personal, no? but I've seen so many, um, no, no, I'm not, don't, don't, don't get me wrong. Um, those are some of the complaints, no? these are just um, part of my research, na the, the teachers are also, um, the, the, peer, the appearance of the teacher is not, not, not uh, also pleasing. Kaya nga sabi, paano na mga ayos yung student, eh yung, yung teacher parang kagigising lang at bumangon lang. Tapos you expect your students to be um, as presentable as possible, pero ikaw mismo, you, hindi ka nag -e exert ng effort. No, pareho tayo. Dapat the student, um, yung students, um, nag -e effort sila on their physical appearance, tayo din dapat na speaker. More on what sa atin. Okay? Okay, so next, I have here, are you familiar with MK? Damit yun, no? I, I mean, shoes, the brand of, I know, no, brand of, uh, mas, mas common is brand ng bag. Si M, uh, Mark, Mark Jacobs, or you said in MK yung Mark, ano. So, si Mark Jacobs actually is, marami siya mga products na introduced, no? But one of these are yung cosmetics, no? And according to him, I always, he find beauty daw in things. Michael Kors pala, sorry, sinasabi ko kanina. Jacobs or this one sa cosmetics. I always find beauty in things that are odd and imperfect. They are much more interesting. Which is true. Yung test paper ninyo, hindi mo naman yan i-erase kung correct. No? Hindi mo naman itatama yung isang bagay kung alam mo na perfect na. So, mas challenging you must challenging na i-correct if you have imperfections. Okay? So, let us proceed with this one. So, how are we going to correct those imperfections? So, I'll just give you some some tips, no? That the image that you must project, positive image na kailangan nating i-project during our online class or virtual internship. Okay? The first one is the background. As I've discussed a while ago, dapat yung background as simple as possible. No? So, wag nang mahiya, wag matakot kung anong itsura ng background mo. Basta make it simple. Ay, umanok, sumandal ka lang dyan sa dingding ninyo, okay na yun. Okay? So now, if you're hesitant with your background, sabi nga, use a virtual background. Okay? Next, how about your clothes? So we will discuss that later on, okay? And then the third one is accessories. Let us move on with the fourth one. The fourth one is your face, our face. And last is, syempre, alam mo na to, your hair. Okay? So let us discuss this. Okay, so let us go first with dress. Dressing appropriately in an online or virtual class. No? So the first one is go for type of sleeves. You experiment with the different sleeves. You may wear puff sleeves, short sleeves, ruffled sleeves, three-fourth sleeves, long sleeves, lahat ng sleeves. Yung mga nasa baul mong damit, it's time for you to wear that. Kuhanin mo yan, isuot mo. Okay, kahit na amoy ipis pa yan, amoy uh, aparador, amoy alkampor, alam nyo yung alkampor, yung bilog na mabango. Okay lang yun. Eh, 
ito na yung best time. Huwag yung sabi, ah, oh, sayang po yung damit. Ano naman ang sayang doon? Anong gagawin mo doon, di ba? So, yeah, you go for, for some type of sleeves. Okay, the next one is wear a bright colored blouse or shirts or t-shirts for men. Sabi ko nga, we are appealing to the, um, to the students. Sana wag naman, for girls, wag naman spaghetti strap. Wag naman tube. Okay, for, and for men, wag naman sana, okay lang, plain t-shirt will do. Wag naman sana sando. And sabi ko nga, the worst case is nakahubad. No? Wag naman ganon. Okay, next is wear wide shaps to long sleeves. So again, kaya nga wag yung um, as much as possible. If you will wear sleeveless, okay lang. At least wide dapat. Wag yung masyadong haltered. Okay? Next is void fitted or super structured tops. Yung sobrang sikip. Sobrang sikip. Nasa bahay na nga tayo eh. May ba? We are doing online class, virtual class. Dapat ano pa din tayo, comfortable. Wear yung damit natin na maganda, but we are comfortable wearing it. Anyway, you will only wear that for how many? 30 to, 30 to 1 hour. Okay, makakalaya ka na after that. And then last one is do not wear again sando and spaghetti straps for girls. Okay, so always remember that, no, lalo na sa old zate nyo, isa na, i-practice nyo to. Okay, next. The second one is, do not forget to accessorize. You know, I'm, I'm very fortunate that I've attended this seminar. Actually, this is also um, the reason why naisip ko tong webinar na to. Um, I've attended a seminar and the guest speaker there is Miss Karen Agustin Ostrea, or she is the... An, she is the etiquette and image consultant consultant of this company. And she's the former Binibining Pilipinas universe. No, and according to her, and she stressed this out na, yung earrings is very powerful in an online class. Okay, or online uh, virtual um, platform, no? Sabi nga niya, power earrings. So sabi nga niya, never, never attend a virtual class without an earrings. So what type of earrings? Well, depende doon sa, um, sa theme or depende kung ano. If it is a class, a simple stud earrings will do. Okay? So you may wear dangling if, um, like for example, if you are yeah, on a meeting, but do not exaggerate it. Wag naman yung sobrang sobrang laki na lahat ng participant ang tinitignan na lang yung hikaw. I hope hindi ako ha. <laughs> okay. So, you may wear yan. You have different earrings. Huwag bang hinayang. Saan nyo ba gagamitin yan para lang din yung damit kanina? No? Use your earrings. Sa babae lang ha. I'm not, I'm not referring sa mga iba kay mga studyante nating mga boys mag earrings din. No, no. I'm re we are refer I am referring for girls only, for women. Okay? And then next is makeup. Okay. So makeup for females. These are the basic, no basic makeup during online, ha? Online. We are talking about virtual, ha? Virtual internship, virtual class. So the first one is apply a good moisturizer and powder. Okay. Um, whatever powder it is, may, um, what? Um, loose powder, pressed powder liquid powder or so whatever and then the next one is wipe on mascara eyeliner and eyebrow makeup kasi nga half lang yung nakikita sa atin so you start with the powder follow yung mascara mo and then your eyebrows and then next is apply bright lipstick because the online in online platform i know you will all agree we look pale mukha tayong maputla so you apply bright lipstick Kasi kahit nag-bright lipstick ka, sa camera, that might look what, um, light, what, pink, purple, something like that, or something like that effect, on that effect, okay? Next, go bright with blush. You put blush on, counting red, but please do not forget a flashed or a monochromatic complexion. When we say monochromatic, um, mono means one. Kung baga, wag masyadong um, na-emphasize yung pisngi as much as possible, 
it's light as possible. Kumbaga, equal lang. And, and monochromatic is, yung shade is magkakakombination, no? With one shade only. And to help me with this, may I request the FFTS president, Haru? Are you there, Haru? Haru, paso. Hello? Hello, hello, Haru? Are you around, Haru? Hello? Hello po. Ma'am, hey, hello, hello. May I request Mr. Mark Joel, Mark Joel Reyes to, to share your screen. Ah, no, 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 we just to turn on your camera to give us, to give us some tips on makeup. Hello, Haru. Uh, Ma'am Bina, I'm so sorry. How are we going to, um, pwede po ayan. Weekends po yun okay. I think I need to turn off manateka lang. I'll just, I need to close my presentation. Yan. Wait lang, let's just wait for, for, you see Haru or, yan. Ay, naku, medyo ano yata yung connection ni Haru. I think, okay. ano, ma'am? Ano ma lang. Hindi kaya yung... Okay, yung... Uh, okay. pero... Siguro ito yung nalang natin. Sister, kaya niyang mag-talk? Mag, mag Haru, can... Is it possible kahit walang video? Pwede mag-Skype, magsalita ka lang. Just give some tips. Wala din yata, no? Parang nag... Mahina yung connection, no? Ma'am Fides, no? Kaya pag ganyan. Parang mahina yata yung connection ni Haru. I think hindi possible. Okay, anyway, so I'll just continue. Haru, just i-advise me na lang when you're ready. Siguro, Ma'am Riz, sige po, tuloy niyo muna din. Continue ko na lang. Okay. Ay, for a while, for a while. Wait lang po. I hope okay pa kayong lahat dyan. Wait lang po. I'll, I'll just um, continue sharing my screen. Wait lang po. Yeah. Gising pa ba? Yes po. <laughs> yeah. By the way, if you have questions, no, pwede naman, pwede kayong mag sa ating um, chat box if you have questions, no? Okay, so again, let me continue. So, we're, we're done with this, no? With the makeup. Mga basics lang naman, no? What about for males? Grooming? Well, alam nyo, merong ano, um, I've read this article na ngayon daw, dahil sa pandemic, mas tumaas, tumaas yung, um, what, bumibili ng bumibili ng makeup na lalaki. No? Mas tumaas daw yung sales nila and surprisingly, yung mga lalaki ang bumibili ng makeup. And basically, they use that daw for, for online, um, for virtual yeah, class or virtual meetings. Okay, so for men, you need to powder yourself. Naku, alam ko naman yan, nagpa-powder kayo. Minsan nga, mas, mas malakas pa kayo mag-powder sa girls. And the next is well-shaped hair. Well, kahit na hindi na po ako nakakapag-haircut eh. So, it's okay. It's okay kung hindi nakakapag-haircut. But is important is at least man lang suklayin natin no, before tayo humarap sa ating screen. Kung masyadong mahaba, sige. Sige na, tatanggapin na yun tayo. You, pusod mo na lang. It's okay with us. Okay? And then next is groomed eyebrows. Medyo wala yung kay Haro, but I want to ask him about this eh. Kasi I am not really sure if um, the eyebrows, eyebrows na for girls, uh, ay pwede din doon sa eyebrows, yung cut ng eyebrows sa babae, ay yun din sa lalaki. Okay, so maybe may, we may ask him afterwards. Okay, next. So we will now down, so we are, we are now 
um, we, are, we are now equipped no, with simple tips on how we project ourselves um, yeah, um, na presentable during virtual or online. No online internship, whether internship or class. Okay, now. As Sir um, Dexter said a while ago, that virtual internship is a rare experience placement that students can do from home. So, um, let, let us face it, lahat naman tayo, we are doing this and we are learning. I know, we are all learning from this virtual internship. Okay, so these are some of the virtual internship etiquettes, no? So we're done with the physical, with the appearance. Now, how about projecting positive image by using these etiquettes or practicing these virtual internship etiquettes? So let me start with this one. Make time for change of scenery. Like what? So you may you may sit outside. Pwedeng baka may garden kayo, may maliit na. Um, yun nga, na maliit na garden, maliit na place, may mga halaman si nanay, si ate, plantito, plantita, oh why not stay there during the uh, virtual internship meeting? Hey, you change it. Iba ka, iba ka naman nang, nang, nang hindi yung doon ka nang doon lang sa isang scene na yun. Okay? And then next one, stay connected with whom? Okay? Not only with your superiors, but also with your friends. Most of us, iyan yung ano natin, outlet, our friends, our real and true friends, no? So, you talk to them, social media, you do some comments, dun sa mga pinapost nilang pictures, okay? Uh, what else? Um, chat, chat nyo sila, email nyo sila, just, just stay connected, okay? And then the third one is personalize your workplace. So, how are we going to personalize? Paano ba natin mag-personalize personalize ng ating workplace? So that can, you find nice space dedicated to virtual internship. Sabi nga, whether it is a dining table, a simple desk, um, saan pa? Sa, sa living room, sa bedroom. Yeah, it's okay. Walang problema yan. Eh, just, just put a simple, uh, a small plants, a small flower. Just put your favorite character na sino si Mickey Mouse, ilagay mo, si Hello Kitty, ilagay mo sa tabi mo. That is okay. You personalize your workplace. That will help you. Makakatulong yan para magkaroon tayo ng mga positive vibes, mga positive um, positive thoughts. What else? Um, You play music. Pwede din. You play music. Huwag lang yung magpe-play ng music habang nagdi-discuss si Ma'am para hindi niya siya marinig, okay? Uh, uh, very soft background music will do. Okay, what else? Um, uh, yeah, those are examples of how to personalize your workplace, no? And then, lightning effect. Mura lang ang ring light, bili kayo sa Shopee. Pero kung wala, okay lang, no? Okay lang. I'm not encouraging you to buy that ha, baka pabili pa kayo sa parents ninyo. A eh, good lightning will do. Basta't maaliwalas yung mukha ninyo, okay lang yan. Okay? And then the fourth one is keep a constant routine. My advice to you is to make a list. No? Make a list of your routine. Okay? Pagising ko, 8 to 9, magbe-breakfast, then this one, blah, 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 next, klasiko, ganito, blah. Okay? And do not forget, no? Do not forget breaks. Huwag niyong kalilimutan na magpahinga magmerienda, mahiga ng konti para makat-charge, para lang din tayong uh, mga gadget natin na papagod din at kailangan din nating ma-recharge. Okay? Okay, next is check in with your boss, with your professors, with your teachers, with your boss in sa internship. Like what? Well, yeah, working from home makes it easy, no, to forget that there are more people involved in the work you are completing. But this one, you choose which mode of communication your bosses prefers. Baka si boss hindi masyadong techie, ayaw niya masyado ng email, maybe mas gusto niya via messenger. But it's okay, walang problema doon. Baka gusto niya via what? Viber, via text, via whatever. Kung ano, just 
um, get in touch always. Do not forget your connection with your boss. That is very important, no? Hindi yung dimi dead ma. The 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 art of what? How do you call that? The art of dead mythology, no? The art of what? Um, yung ans. Uh, oh, what do you call that? Uh, anong tawag natin don yung unseen? What what? Yung 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 hindi natin binabadi ba? Meron tayo mga ganon. Alam mo na kung sino nag text titig na no? Ay kunwari na tutulog ako, yeah ba? We go all guilty with that. So, pero pagdating sa boss, no, always keep your your lines open with your boss, with your bosses. Para hindi pagdating ng, ma'am, incomplete po ako. Bakit? Ay, kasi po natabunan yung message niya. Oh, eh, what's your priority then? Maybe hindi mo masyadong priority yung internship mo. Okay? And the next, and this one is the etiquette naman during na during uh, during the your virtual internship so stay muted if you're not talking but stay focused so we're muted syempre na tempt ka na gumawa ng kung anong-anong mga bagay diyan sa tabi-tabi okay so just stay focused kahit na mute ka <clears throat> unless excuse me unless your your boss or your teacher asks you to to do some talking so pa lang bubuksan yung Um, doon pa lang i-unmute yung sarili mo. But stay focused always. And then next, do not eat during the meeting. Um, we are all guilty with this. Na kung, ewan ko ba, kung bakit, kung kailan tayo nasa during a um, virtual internship, a uh, virtual um, class or meeting, doon tayo nagugutom. Eh, since you off your camera, you're unmute, kakain muna. Okay, you do all that, your stuff, kumain ka na, maligo ka na, par during the meeting, you are ready. Then after the meeting, that's the time for you to rest. Okay? And then next, don't do other private things while on a meeting. Well, ugali na yun natin, di ba? Na, excuse me. <coughs> We do private things. Nagumagawa tayo ng mga bagay aside. Excuse me. Okay. We do other things aside from aside from that. Nagattend ka. Excuse me. <coughs> Sorry for that. <coughs> like may nakaalala. <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> May nakaalala yata sa akin. <clears throat> so, <clears throat> again, do not do some private things no while on meeting. Sinasabay natin yung <clears throat> nag nag nagme-meeting tayo, nag-chat-chat. What? Nag nagpo-post sa Facebook, nanonood ng Netflix. So, just focus on what you're doing. And then sabi ko nga, <clears throat> may time for that. Babalikan na naman doon sa kanina na sinabi ko na. You do some plans. You plan ahead of time. Okay po? Actually, we are still, no, parang maaga pa din tayong matatapos. So, can, 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 may I request her again kung, kung makakabalik? Hindi yata. No, ma'am Fides, parang hindi na siya makakabalik. Amen. <clears throat> okay, so with that, actually, I hope, That is, sabi ko, this is very short presentation. That is, sana meron kayong napulot kahit pa paano. Na, I hope I missed um, our objective. Na sana, you try to apply this, this one, the etiquette, as well as your um, lahat, mental, and then physical, and even emotional. We tackled three. No? So, sana may apply ninyo during your virtual internship. And soon, though matatapos na internship, you're online sa trabaho na. You're, we're looking forward to so that. We're looking forward na may apply nyo lahat ng yan. Don't you worry. Kasi, kaya nga na sa virtual internship kayo, that is in preparation. Maybe yung makukuha nyo ding trabaho in the future is virtual also. So, you are equipped now. Okay po? And always remember, no? that with a positive self-image, we recognize our own, our assets, 
and potentials while being realistic about our liabilities and limitations. So do not focus on our assets only. Do not focus kung ano lang yung magaganda sa atin. Acknowledge also our weaknesses, our liabilities, no? Because with that um with self uh, with negative self image, we focus simply on our faults and weaknesses, distorting to what to failure and imperfections. So sabi nga natin, normal na may imperfections tayo. Diyan nga tayo magiging strong eh. Let us focus on that. Okay? Huwag ikahiya. Instead, let us develop our imperfections, our weaknesses, and convert it na magiging strength natin. Okay? So with that, I will leave you with this quote by Anthony D. J. De Angelo. <clears throat> he says, Whenever ever you go, no matter what the weather, always bring your own sunshine. Okay? So always remember that. Bring your own. I believe. Naniniwala kaming lahat, kaming mga teachers ninyo, na you have your own sunshine. No? May sarili-sarili kayong... Um, we are, you are all unique. Unique tayong lahat. No? So, please make your parents proud and then make Bulacan State University, CIT, and also food, Foods Department. And also, I, I've seen other courses, no, may automotive dito sa chatbox. So, make CIT proud doon sa inyong pupuntahan na susunod na level, which is yun ang mismong, sabi nyo nga, the reality, yung trabaho. Pag napasok kayo ng trabaho, please bring that sunshine. No? And sana yung sunshine na yan, maabutan kami. Sana masinagan kami nung sunshine na yan. At huwag kayong makakalimot. Okay? So, always be positive. Lagi maging positive lang tayo sa buhay later on or ngayon ma-appreciate natin why these things are happening. Okay po? So with that, thank you so much for listening. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Tapos na ako. Pwede na kayo gumising. Yung mga natutulog. Gising na po. Tapos na po tayo. And again, thank you so much. Maraming salamat. And um, I am hoping na sana sabi nga natin, laban lang. Laban lang tayong lahat. We will surpass all this this um things that is happening nowadays. Yun lang, maraming salamat ulit po. Ah. Thank you for listening. Hello, Amriz. Yes po. Um, um, siguro po, uh, baka merong gusto magtanong. Um, yes, please question. comment po sa uh, comment section. If you have questions for Mamriz, Mamriz, napakaganda po yeah. yung um, presentation mo, parang tamang-tama sa mga students. Tinamaan nga daw sila eh, di lang sila nakailag. <laughs> bato-bato, sabi ko nga, bato-bato po. Bato-bato sa lang. Hindi daw sila natutulog, nakapikit lang. Ano daw? Nakapikit. Umiidlip lang. Umiidlip yes, lang. Yes, okay so, lang naman. <laughs> Baka okay meron kayong question, siguro mag-entertain yes, kami ng yes, ilang yes, questions yes, yes. for... Uh, feel free to answer, ay, to ask questions. Pa-type na lang sa comment section. Then, Ma'am Reese will uh, yes. try to answer your questions. Uh, Ma'am yes, Reese, thank you, thank yes, you po, Ma'am Reese. Thank so, you, Ma'am, from Zazel. You're very much welcome, Zazel. Yes. Baka may mga questions, sige lang po. Pwede namang mag-dilemma. Baka may questions kayo. Opo. Wag mo na po kayo na kasi afterwards meron, meron po tayo ano. raffle. So, baka meron kayo dyang mga hugot questions. Yes, yes. You are free to type in your hugot questions. Nasa na yung mga selfies ninyo? I hope. Sana mag-post kayo. Baka may mga friends ako I, sa Facebook. I, ano nyo nga? I-post ninyo. I-my day ninyo yung sabi kong selfie ninyo. 
Oh nga, then tag si IT. Sorry. Yes, please. Uh -oh. Ay, wala silang oh, questions. So, wala. Yes, it's okay. 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 Thank you. So, um, thank you, Ma'am Reese, for that very um, informative na speech. So, uh, presentation. Uh, may I remind lang everyone that the evaluation uh, form is already pinned sa comment section. You may answer the evaluation na uh, form para makareceive kayo ng e-certificate later. Pero wag muna kayong um, aalis kasi meron tayong, malay nyo manalo kayo ng limpak-limpak. Malaki yung premium natin. So, meron tayong magiging mananalo ng uh, 10, tama ba? 10, 10 yung mananalo later. So, pero before we proceed with our raffle, um, may I call muna So, I think you have no questions na, no? So, I will, I assume, pwede ko nang i-proceed with the awarding of the certificate. Okay, so to award the certificate of recognition, let us all hear from our very supportive and dedicated department head of the Foods Department, Mr. J. De Jesus. Okay, thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Madam Students. Good afternoon to all the students and faculty present in this afternoon's webinar. But before we award the certificate of recognition to our speaker, let me first read the citation. Um, Lacan State University, College of Industrial Technology, Malala City. Certificate of recognition is presented to Ms. Cresandra Mendoza, in grateful acknowledgement of her valuable service rendered as resource speaker during the webinar series, Enhancing the Quality of Internship, entitled Projecting a Passive, Positive Image in Virtual Internship, given the 17th day of June, 2021 at Bulacan State University, signed Mr. Mark Joel Reyes, President FFPS, Ms. Fides Hani C. Calma, CESO Head, CIT, FFTS Co-Advisor, Dr. Wardito Galita, Dean CIT. Okay, thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Salamat, sir. Thank you sa invitation din namin sa'yo. Thank you po. Thank you, Sir Jay, um, for sharing your time with us. Alam po namin na marami kayong ginagawa. Thank you po. Um, for the raffle, we will have uh, 10 winners of 100 Gcash or load courtesy of FFTS organization. So, is Hiro around already or I will do the announcing of winners also? Is Haru around? Yan. So Haru is around. Haru is uh, the president of FFTS. So let's all welcome Haru. Yes. <laughs> so Mavina, can we proceed with the raffle para malaman na nila kung sino ang winners for today? So we have um, Haru. Um, we cannot hear you. So we have our first winner, uh, Miss Rosette Bundalian. Nakusto janti kuto. Balato naman. <laughs> Thank you. 
Okay, for our second winner, we have Lori Ann de la Peña. Congratulations, Lori Ann. Haru, can you, ano? Can you speak, President Haru? Or you. Vina next. Okay. So for our third winner, we have Hannah Gabriel. Congratulations, Hannah. Okay, for our next... Sino kaya? Hindi kaya ako matatawag? Baka naman matawag ako. <laughs> okay, Kaira, gano'n salamat. Congratulations, Kaira. For our fifth winner. Sino kaya? So, congratulations, honey. Sige, next na tayo. For, ano na, pang six na to, I think. Eh. For our six winner. Congratulations, Pedro. Dito ka mag-ano ko pa yata to. Baka naman. <laughs> Okay, next. Congratulations, February. Congratulations, Webster. So, pang eight na to, no? Yung susunod. So, for the eight winner... Congratulations, Danielle. So for the dalawa na lang. So um, sana matawag yung names nyo. Okay, meron na lang tayong dalawang winners na inaantay. Okay, Mavina. Congratulations, Michael. Congratulations, Michael. So, last na. So, we have, ano na. Ito na yung last. Okay, so congratulations, Matt Angela, and congratulations to all the winners. Um, you may contact Haru Reyes, the president. Haru Reyes, your name is on Facebook, or FFTS will contact you. Meron naman kayong mga contact numbers sa registration na sinend nyo. Pero you can message na Haru if you want, okay? So again, congratulations to all the winners. And thank you sa ating uh, very distinguished speaker for Ma'am Reese or Cassandra Mendoza from our department. Um, thank you very much, Ma'am Reese, for that very um, informative na presentation. I'm sure maraming natutunan ng ating mga students, lalong-lalo na kasi we are, lalo na ngayon, nasa virtual ano tayo, hindi pa tayo pwedeng mag face-to-face -face class. So, 
I, I'm sure magagamit nila yung mga learnings na naituro mo sa kanila today. So, um, before we end our program, um, is Haru available? I think our president is having a hard time sa kanyang sa signal siguro. Siguro, uh, before we end our program, I call the president of FFTS, the very hardworking and amazing Mr. Mark Joel Reyes, a.k.a. Haru, to give his words of gratitude. Is Haru around again? I think may problema si ating president. Um, to represent Haru, can I call Gwen? Is Gwen here? Okay. So to represent Haru, may I call uh, officer din po ito ng FFTS and one of the organizers of our today's webinar, Gwen Marquez. Hello, ma'am. Narinig po ako? Yes, and uh, okay. clear. Very clear. Uh, and so, good afternoon po everyone. And in behalf po of um, Sir Haru Reyes and ng FFTS po ng Federation of Food Technology Students, uh, we thank you po everyone sa lahat po nang nag-participate sa aming two-day webinar series and sa aming dalawang speaker po na si Mr. Um, Mr. Alvin Faustino nung first day and si Ma'am Crisandro Mendoza, Mendoza po this day. Maraming salamat po for participating in our webinar series po. And also to Ma'am Vina and Ma'am Fides po for guiding us to this webinar. Thank you po. Is that all, Gwen? Wala ka nang... Uh, ano? uh, okay na po. Thank you po, Ma'am. Okay, thank you, Haru, uh, Gwen, and... The whole FFTS, especially the organizers, Gwen, Ma'am Reese, our advisor, Ma'am Cresandra, and speaker for today. Um, thank you po. And Rosette Mundalian, one of our winners, thank you for organizing this webinar. Again, the evaluation form is already posted. Kung hindi pa po kayo nagsasagot, you can still answer. Nakapin po yan sa ating comment section. Make sure to fill up yung ating evaluation form to be able to receive the e-certificates. Please also check your active emails para ma-receive nyo yung inyong mga agad-agad po yan matatanggap nyo. And kung hindi nyo pumakita sa email nyo, please check your spams or spam. Um, nasa email po nyo yun or sa spam if hindi nyo nakita sa email nyo itself or sa inbox. So, and then, um, that's it. Um, in behalf of, uh, Ma'am Riz, do you have something to say pa po, Ma'am Riz? Uh, kayo na, ma'am. It's thank you again po sa organizers. Thank you so much, ma'am. Fee, thank you for making this webinar possible. And also, ma'am Vina. Ma'am Vina, thank you so much. And to all the participants, maraming salamat po. Alit sa time. You. Hindi biro na, na makinig sa ating mga <laughs> sinasabi. Maraming salamat po. Thank you so much. Thank you, uh, FF. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you, Gwen, Haro, Rosette, and Jason. Thank you so much and the rest of the officers ng FFT. Thank you, ma'am. Oh, thank, yes. thank you for watching. Well, well, friends for Jay for allowing us. Ah, um, yes. Thank you, ma'am. <laughs> okay, po. In behalf of CIT, Food depart uh, Foods Department, CIT Extension Services Unit, and FFTS, um, through the uh, our advisor, Ms. Cresandra Mendoza, we would like to thank everyone for attending our webinar series and we look forward to seeing all of you again in our next webinar or events. So let us officially end our event by singing the Bulsu March uh, by Bulsu Saring Himig. Again, thank you everyone and see you again in our next webinar. <laughs>